what kind of potential do you see for us, for India, uh, going forward? You know, a, a lot of scientists uh, now say that the future is not impossible to predict uh, based on data. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I, I, I want to get um, your views from, from what you see around you. See, data is about the past. Mm. These figures and statistics can give you some insight into what may happen tomorrow. But these statistics and data does not take into consideration what is beating in the human heart. Mm. Things have happened in this world, not always according to past data not as people expected, because one human being stood up with a passion that nobody else could stop. Yeah. And suddenly this human being made the difference and turned the course of life for a society or a community or an entire nation or the world. Again and again it's happened. So so-called scientific data mm -hmm. has no access to this. Right. So tomorrow morning, with what passion Indian youth will stand up and what difference they will make, there is no scientific data for that. Mm. How we can inspire them, there is no scientific data for that. They are going by cold statistics. Yes, it will give you some idea where we are. Mm. It will never tell you where we are going to be. It tells us where we are right now. Right. <laughs> there's no way to know, really. But no, no, it's not that there's no way to know. First of all, predictions are what… predictions are for those people, whether astrological or scientific, I don't care because both are about the same. Okay. Predictions are for those people who neither have the capability to either make a plan or execute a plan. Because you're not capable of a plan, you fall back on predictions. Mm. 